to the podium again and listen to exactly what um, uh, Alan Kojo Chemanting has to tell Ghanaians with regard to the NPP's manifesto if they do get the nod to be in power. Ghana, which is the unprecedented high level of unemployment, particularly amongst the youth. According to the World Bank, about 48% of Ghanaians between the ages of 15 and 24 are unemployed, whilst over 18% of those aged between 25 and 64 years are inactive and are actively looking for a job. Regrettably, this includes skilled professionals like teachers and nurses who under the past MPP administration had readily available jobs due to the efficient and progressive management of the health and education sectors by the MPP government. Since job creation is essentially a private sector activity, the number one priority for the next MPP government will be to put in place the policy framework that will help businesses expand and create jobs, as well as promote the growth of entrepreneurship, particularly among the youth. It is a matter of deep concern that the industrial sector has suffered one of the most significant setbacks in Ghana's history over the last eight years. In 2015, manufacturing recorded a negative growth of two minus 2% while mining recorded a negative growth of minus 3.8 percent. The poor performance of industry and the business sector are the result of the mismanagement of the economy as well as the unreliable and expensive power supply regime otherwise known as DUMSO that has plagued Ghana for well over five years. Additionally, industry has impacted by lack of access to finance, high interest rates, inadequate supply of raw materials, and a poorly developed domestic trade infrastructure. The MPP will address these challenges in ways that will embrace and enable industry to thrive and become a major source of jobs, especially for the youth. As some of my colleagues indicated, Job creation will be mainstream in all sectors of the Ghanaian economy under an MPP administration. However, it is evident that industrialization is arguably the most powerful tool in creating and expanding employment opportunities. In this regard, the next MPP government will embark on one of the most ambitious and comprehensive industrial development programs ever to be implemented in the country's history. Our industrial development strategy will be underpinned by the following measures, among others. Working with industry to enable them access medium to long-term financing. Implementing policies that reduce the cost of doing business. Pursuing aggressive industrialization based on value addition, providing tax and related incentives for manufacturing businesses, investing in skills training and apprenticeships, as well as providing resources for small businesses and startups to emerge and flourish. To respond to the challenge of raising long-term finance, the NPP government will first establish an industrial development fund to support critical private sector industrial initiatives. The fund will be seeded from government, multilateral, multilateral and private institutional investors. We will also recapitalize and restructure the National Investment Bank to provide medium long-term financing for industry. We will mandate the Ghana Investment Promotion Center to attract financing and investments into selected strategic industries. We will eliminate 
the current system of political patronage and restructure the existing mass law scheme to provide credit for SMEs. Ladies and gentlemen, to tackle the high cost of doing business, the NPP will reduce the tax burden on businesses by either completely abolishing same taxes or reducing them. Dr. Baumia has already referred to a number of these, so I will not repeat them. By far one of the biggest challenges industries and businesses have faced for more than five years is inadequate supply of power. In fact, Dumso has led to thousands of Ghanaians losing their jobs, not to mention the number of families that have been affected by these considerable job losses. The MPP will implement a broad range of reforms in the energy sector, a summary of which will be covered by my colleague when he presents our solutions for the energy and petroleum sector. Ladies and gentlemen, industrial activity in Ghana has also been constrained by poor industrial development planning, including limited access to land for the development of industrial zones. To address this challenge, the MPP will facilitate access to dedicated land spaces in every region for the establishment of multipurpose industrial parks. We will also develop vibrant commercial zones in border towns in Ghana and work jointly with our neighboring countries on developing industrial activities which will create jobs and promote efforts towards stronger economic integration in the ECOWAS region. To promote entrepreneurship, the MPP will usher in a new golden age for small business by launching a comprehensive national plan for entrepreneurship and innovation that will invest in supporting existing small businesses and high growth potential as well as startups, particularly those initiated by young persons. Skills shortage for industrial development is one of the critical areas that the MPP will urgently address. In this regard, we will establish apprenticeship and skills development centers to train skilled labor force for specific industrial sectors. Secondly, we will develop, in collaboration with trade unions, a database for trained apprentices and artisans and establish a national apprentice recruitment agency. In partnership with the private sector, we will transform the existing and apprenticeship training model from a supply-driven approach to a market-driven model based on the German apprenticeship model. Ghanaian businesses also face significant challenges in exporting or importing goods at the ports. To address these challenges, the NPP will significantly reduce fees and charges charged at the ports. We would also introduce reforms in port clearing systems and benchmark our ports against some of the best in the world, such as Dubai and Singapore, and make our ports some of the most efficient in Africa to support import and export duty. In addition to all the above, the MPP will launch a number of flagship industrial development initiatives. The first of these initiatives is the One District, One Factory Initiative. <laughs> In collaboration with the private sector, the MPP will implement the initiative which is designed to provide a comprehensive program for rural industrialization involving the setting up of at least one medium to large size factory in each of the districts of Ghana. The program 
which will be financed through public-private partnerships, has five strategic objectives, namely to create massive employment, particularly for the youth in rural communities, and thereby improve income levels and the standard of living, as well as to reduce urban and rural migration. Secondly, to add value to the natural resources of each district and exploit the economic potential of the district based on its comparative advantage and competitive advantage. Thirdly, to ensure even spread of industries around the country and thereby stimulate economic activity in different parts of Ghana. Fourthly, to enhance the production of local substitutes for imported products and thereby conserve scarce foreign exchange. And last but not the least, to promote exports and increase foreign exchange earnings. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the identification of these district projects for each district will be done with the active participation and involvement of the private sector, the district assembly, and other institutional investors. Two or more districts may coordinate their efforts and collaborate to establish one district enterprise based on their specific circumstances. This, however, will only be in addition to any other project they may wish to establish which will be unique to their district. The selection of each district enterprise would involve the revitalization of an existing government-owned or privately sponsored project, which is deemed to be potentially viable. For each district enterprise, it will be incorporated as a private limited liability company and will be managed on some commercial lines by the private sector. We do not want the people of Ghana to think that this project is about establishing state enterprises. It's a public-private partnership and it will be done in collaboration with the private sector. My brothers and sisters, I want to assure you that the One District, One Factory Initiative is a well-structured program that has the potential of transforming the industrial landscape of Ghana and contributes significantly to the economic development of our country. Besides the One District, One Factory Initiative, the MPP would also adopt strategic anchor industries, which will become new growth poles for our economy. This will include the petrochemical industry, iron and steel, an integrated aluminium industry, industrial salt, automobile and vehicle assembly plants, the manufacture of machinery, equipment, and machine parts, garments and textiles, and the assembly of electronics and other components. So our industrial development agenda is not only about one district, one factory. It is also to ensure that we establish major large-scale strategic industries that will create tens and thousands of jobs for the people of Ghana. Last but not the least, last but not the least, in most industrialized countries, a significant component of industrial productive activity is undertaken through what we call subcontracting arrangements. In line with this, the MPP will develop a national industrial subcontracting exchange, which will link small and medium enterprises to large-scale uh, uh, factories. This is the only way that we can bring up the small and medium enterprises to also grow to become large-scale enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to conclude because of our time constraint. The MPP believes that industrial transformation is the key to building a strong, resilient economy, creating massive employment opportunities releasing the creative and entrepreneurial potential of Ghanaians and creating prosperity for all.
But we have to caution that industrial progress is not going to happen by chance. To only be realized through careful, deliberate, and innovative policy innovation, as well as program execution. This is what the next MPP administration will seek to do. Highlights of which I've sought to present to you, and which will be further elaborated in our manifesto, appropriately titled Agenda for Jobs. God bless you, and God bless MPP, and God bless Ghana. Let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it one more time. But before I take my seat, the American in our Mepesame Pono Tofa, I can't cast them. I did about one NDC. If you have a chair on Barbemo, one would be near Ghana for a chess or mobile, and you see a Bama, a Juma Bagana. I said, A Juma Bagana, not a normal Mirusso. They did kind a quiet Bafasua, the best she is sick as some how to manage the economy. It doesn't mean no. A prayer of a Fasua, a Dinshi Sherpa, a Beba, a Peja, and Crab Prajuma, and in Omom Yenfi Juma. Now, no man, and this year by Antimia, and PPC Aba, that the Sanshi Sherpa, and Beba, and my Juma, and Bagana, and my Babusu Organa. Ah, Obi, ah, or Pen and PPSM, or the twenty cartons of Calipo, and the Aba. Young Pine to Giago, now young Pine, you are the Masoya Miss Lamb.